So, how long do it really does it take you to cook the shortbread at the beginning? And I'll go in and kind of tidy up the side. I'll leave that there in case Daniel wants it. Good day, So what are you going to be making today? Um, shortbread. Ugh, yucky. <laughs> Scales. <laughs> Hang on, we're back in. Something a bit like this. Nice and big. Some caster sugar. Some butter, which I'll leave in the fridge until I like, need it. And I'll be back in a minute. What kind of flour? Just plain flour. Okay. Don't worry, just pretend I'm not here, don't worry about it. Just do what you're gonna what you normally do. And some plain flour. You can use self rising though if you want it like big ones thick. So you set the scales to zero with a bowl on it. And then you just I'm just doing a rough one. Random measurements, but the maximum of cast sugar. Is about 115. I've accidentally done 117. Set it back to zero. Said zero. I did actually say zero. What attempt to do? Thank you. Oops. Make sure you don't scoop out the butter. Maybe sugar, sorry. Well over. But I swear I took out a bit of sugar. Ew, I've got toast in it. Do about butter, grams or sorry. Five grams of that. Just need five grams. Quite. I think you're gonna have to use your hands, unless you really don't want to. You keep mixing. As you can see, it looks like bread breadcrumbs, and then you can start smudging it together with your hands. It does take quite a while. Oh, I forgot to do something. Preheat the oven. And if you don't make the the bowl sticky enough. It, when you're cooking it, um, say I was using this and I rolled it out on the side, it would turn out all crumbly and once you've cooked it, it might break. Shortbread. You could have made an extra one with just the bits that you've left. Put it on the side and a flower thing. I'll just use these three shapes today. Um, leave it out it. Of course. But you should have flour anyway because you use it to make it. What date has it got? Oh, it's got the wrong date. I can't use it. Hello, Daddy. Ah, oh, here. That's a little blob. You don't really want to touch it. So, 
You don't have to colour it. But on the bright side, it's turning red. It kind of died to the side. That looks red enough, doesn't it? And you've got to pat it down. Just print two of these. Two squares, mm. two circles. Then you take them out. Oh my god! I forgot to grease the tray. Ooh! Just too much. By far. It looks like I'm bleeding. Hot, hot, hot. Very, very hot. You'll need an adult to help you with this. And you've left the pan in the oven. And then, carefully, you get your red blood shortbread. Or whatever colour you want it. This is what they should kind of look like, but whatever colour you want, of course. And advice, don't make them too thin, otherwise when you come to eat them, they'll probably be a lot thinner. Now I'll make like cookies out, oh, burn myself. <laughs> <laughs> make sure they're not touching. You don't have to do this, by the way. I just feel like it. Let's see, do you think I can do one more of each? No. Find a square aisle. Flat and flat. Done. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Fourteen. Now going in the oven. Like me. Have an adult near or with you. And remember. Mum broke the glass, so... HA! Come on. For about 15 minutes, check it after 10 minutes though, because I might have been wrong. This is what my mother did, just by chucking a chair down the stairs. Well, come with me. Let me enlighten you again. She was like... Cleaning up the and poof, that dump. Wanna have a look? And then she chucked the chair out. It landed here, one leg here, one leg here. And then it literally toppled down. I was standing here like this as it went past. And then it went bang, bang. Well, it doesn't come off as long as you've washed it a bit. Okay, right, back in the kitchen. It's only been about two minutes, five minutes. Not done. You can tell because they're still squidgy and... And... Let me enlighten you again. Have you seen Devil Splat Spider? Devil Boy Splat Spider. That is my brother.
and prod them. These are too soft, so ever. They're too soft, you can't eat them. Right. Then you just put them back in. Sometimes they take a long time. But I can smell that they're nearly done. Oh, they might actually be done. What's wrong with me? Shall I do it again? So this is what they will look like when they're done. You'll tell when they're done is if you take one off and you just snap it off and eat it, you'll tell if it's done. You will use a spatula, shuffle them off onto a plate or onto a tub, whatever you want to put them in. Then you'll get whatever kind of sugar you want, granulated, brown or caster. Well, in this case, I've used granulated. The shop. Thank you for watching.